Cord's involvement in the E3 project, um, we were a lead partner from the start, so we were involved since 2009, and our main role was to develop innovative approaches to engaging with residents. So um, we were initially a training centre, we were the neighbourhood resource centre within Accord, so um, we delivered a lot of the training to residents and community engagement initiatives as well. So um, we were a key player really in developing these different approaches, at engaging with residents. So um, following a transnational link um, with one of our transnational partners, um, we were looking at a blended e-learning facility. So a lot of our time and involvement was talking at different providers to try and find out um, how we could set up this project. Um, so we had that face of the training side of residents, but um, one of our main roles within the project was, de was developing our internal structures within Accord. So um, Accord at the moment has um, the Adventures Programme, which is the Employment and Enterprise Agency for the entire the Accord group. So we support residents in employment and enterprise. So um, we thought our involvement with the project would fit really well at finding the best ways to engage with residents and to increase their employment prospects. Within the Accord group, um, we have always engaged with residents to try and support them um, into finding employment and help them become more work ready. Um, often, a lot of this training before was classroom based. Um, and we wanted to develop an innovative program that engaged them a bit more and was something different so um, they were more inclined to attend because it wasn't the similar program that they've attended previously. So following on from one of the links with the transnational partners, they delivered an online training module which helped residents apply for work, um, it prepared them for work. And we thought that that idea would be fantastic for our residents within Accord. So um, our intention was to create hubs across the group where residents could access the internet firstly, but also participate in this training. So the training that we had was a level two accredited employability course. So it was actually called Find It, Go For It and Get It. So we labelled it like that. So it was a fun label for residents um, and it was something brand new for the group as well. So we advertised the training to all of the residents within the group and although initially the demand was quite slow, um, word did, did get around about the course. So we started delivering that um, within a McDonald's in Warsaw because even though it was quite difficult to create the hubs, when we were actually going with, within the community, a lot of the organisations were actually quite keen to get involved with this. So we started delivering it there. We thought it was a fantastic opportunity for us because we'd never engaged with um, somewhere like that in the community before and it was also a place where the residents knew they could get to so that initial barrier for them to actually access this um, was removed. So the course was a level two and we used a Moodle platform so it was an online software for them, the residents to use and it was customised by ourselves so it's a brand new programme for use within the Accord group. Um, following from that we did have a, a few residents um, that completed the course, so they've gained that level two qualification. But we, we did notice that we perhaps needed a course that was initially engaged at um, digital inclusion to actually engage the residents before, so they know the, the basic introduction to using the computer. So from there, we have been looking into a new programme of training which could fit in before the employability training to engage residents and to upskill them because that would be a fantastic opportunity for them to use um, for future use as well, for applying for jobs without our support. The E3 project has been fantastic for Accord, um, even though we always had that structure in place to support residents within employment and enterprise, it has accelerated a lot of that learning, especially in terms of supporting residents. We have found that supporting them on a one-to-one -one level really helps them overcome those initial barriers to employment. The shared learning with the other partners as well, with what work that they've done, especially with their suppliers, has been really good for Accord. Um, even though we were already in the process of looking at our procurement policy and how we can incorporate suppliers more into that to how they can benefit the wider community, um, the learning from how the other partners have approached this has been really useful. So, so far to date, we've had an event organised by Accord 
which um, was closely in line with the E3 project and engaging with the um, Accords suppliers. So we had 60 suppliers turn up, of which from there we've had follow-up meetings with them where um, a good proportion of them have recognised the opportunities that, that they can provide for our residents. So we now have a menu of opportunities which ranges from work placements, apprenticeships, work tasters, to support residents, to give them a real taster of work. Um, and that has been influenced by all of our work throughout the Year 3 project.